it's Faye. I feel like I'm a naked mole rat. The hype is real. All of you guys have been telling me, Faye, you gotta review the freaking, oh, what is it called? The world's most full coverage foundation ever. And if you're wondering what that is, may I introduce you to? So it's not like I'm just sitting here bullshitting you. I've been testing this for a while now and I have a lot of things to say. First off, of course, I'm gonna apply it on my face so you guys can see what the hell is going on. I already went in with my skincare routine. All I have left is just my sunscreen. Uh, perfect timing because I've been breaking out. I'm gonna break out my chin too, which is so weird. I'm not recording. Okay, so sunscreen is on. Here's an update on my skin. Of course, my acne has been doing a little bit better. I've been breaking out here and on my cheek here. It's been a little wonky. Okay guys, this foundation is a little bit light for me, so I did wear it on its own and then I tried mixing it with my Marc Jacobs foundation because it's too dark for me, this is too light, so it like kind of worked out. I've tried it alone, I tried mixing it on a jazz. It's literally a tube of foundation. It reminds me of clay, like that's how thick it is. It's gonna be very light on me, I'm just gonna let you guys know now, so don't be like, oh my god, babe. I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on because I want to wear this foundation as if I would every day. So I'm trying to put myself under my normal conditions. I'm gonna dot the foundation on. Just like that. I'm gonna pick up some product on my beauty blender. That was a lot. I'm now gonna show you the coverage. Close and personal. That is quite a lot of product, I must admit. I put way too much on my face. Cause I'll be a cake face today. Okay guys, can we take notice at how dewy I look? I think it has to do with my sunscreen and my skincare underneath as well, but you did see how much I layered my freaking face. It's like a big ass cake. So I do highly recommend for you to set this with a powder. The coverage is amazing, but I will say it does feel a little bit thick on my face. It feels heavy on my face, but I am down and I'm cool with that. I feel like a lot of guys want to see me set it. I'm not going to do any concealer today, but I will powder my under eyes and my t-zone for you to see. I'm gonna go ahead and powder, as you can see that shine, I'm gonna powder right here. And then on my t-zone. Not as glowy as before, but it's enough that I can handle. back I'm gonna get ready and then we shall go from my own game. Okay I'm back and as you guys can tell I went for a very natural like today what well, I tried. I didn't put anything on my face, no blush, no bronzer, no contour, except for my nose. The foundation actually oxidized a lot. My face is a lot more peel than the rest of my body, even though I applied it on my neck as well. I just wanted to let you guys know that me wearing this foundation for a month now, I noticed throughout the day that later it starts to separate, especially around my nose. Even though the coverage is great and the coverage does hold on, it does separate. It's like a bother for me at least because I don't like to touch up my face. But if you don't, you just have like little specks of patches all over your face. Bring a cushion puff with you and just like dab those areas, you know? Like, you know, it's kind of bothersome. I'm like, what are you gonna do? Me mixing it with another foundation still happened. Me wearing it alone still happened. Powdering throughout the day still happened. So it is something for you to keep in mind if um, you don't like your foundation separating. I feel like it's because the foundation is so thick it kind of cakes up and it just kind of goes its own way and but as far as longevity it does hold out throughout the day for me at least but you just got to be careful of the little red flags I will say that it is very concert friendly though I don't know what it was I was wearing this foundation like 7 a.m. all the way until like nighttime like I'm talking like midnight also I went to KCON and the concert right um I did get a lot of compliments like well your skin still looks great after the concert even though I was jumping and sweating a bunch. I guess the sweat 
wetting helps it a little bit. Did it take away the little specks on my face? No, but um, it was still wearable and people were still like, wow, your skin looks great at this time. That is definitely a plus. Just touch up during the day. I mean, just use the little cushion puff and just, you know, like dab your face a little bit, especially around this area and keep in mind I have oily skin so I'm not too sure if it's like this for everyone or just me but besides that I do like the foundation it's a bit more creamy and a bit thicker than usual foundations as you can tell it covered up my um, acne perfectly and it doesn't look too bad as if I'm like wow she has a lot of makeup on it's more like oh she has makeup on what I'm trying to say it isn't look as thick as it feels. That's good. That is it for my review on the world's most full coverage. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Do it my Don't forget to like this video if you guys found it helpful and if you guys want more reviews on foundations and or cushions, don't forget to subscribe to the Fae Bay Fam Bam. You don't have to. I don't know. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye! Bye.